Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. It's an annoyance anyone with a phone can relate to. Bye. Robocalls. There were more than 350,000 complaints in Florida just last year. We even got a few while putting this story together. Please don't hang up. But thanks to a new U.S. Supreme Court ruling, the law banning robocalls has been upheld and even beefed up, removing an exemption for debt collectors. Part of what the law does is allows a new technology to be invented, allow us an opportunity to actually go after some of those companies. Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed heads Florida's Division of Consumer Services. Her agency fined 16 companies nearly a million dollars for violating Florida's do not call list last year. For consumers, this is a huge win. Uh, this is a real opportunity to get those robocalls off of our phone lines. Not everyone is happy with the ruling. Pollsters and political consultants had hopes the court would grant them an exemption from the ban. But PR whiz Ron Sachs says those who were suing have plenty of other less intrusive options to reach voters. We do uh, surveying, polling uh, every week uh, to broad numbers of people locally, statewide, even nationally. And those polls are from voter rolls, and they are online surveys that people opt in. Cell phone companies have been developing new technologies for labeling and even filtering out suspected robocalls. As an added protection, go to our website for a link to sign up for Florida's Do Not Call list. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.